Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to episode number 20 of my Metal and Beer series. Metal and Beer. 20 episodes of Metal and Beer. This is such a tremendous milestone that I decided to wear my extremely cool Chuck Norris tank top that my wife got me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play a killer metal guitar riff that involves hammer-ons and alternate picking. And then after that, I'm going to be trying a beer for the very first time with you. I'm going to bring us in a little closer and let's learn that metal riff with hammer-ons and alternate picking. Alright guys, so I'm going to play the metal riff through one more time with the hammer-on and alternate picking and then we're going to break this down in three simple steps to learn how to play it. Here we go. <laughs> So step number one, I'm going to just give you the notes that we're hitting. Because once you know the notes, it's going to be easier to integrate those techniques, the hammer-on and the alternate picking. So the notes we're hitting here, we're doing the open string, the E string, and then the second fret. So that's the very first part, we're just going back and forth. next piece of this is going to be going same string from the 2nd fret to the 5th fret. So there's a little stretch here. And finally, that little chord that I'm doing at the very end that sounds extremely cool, it's just a modified power chord. There's probably a fancy name for it. I don't know what that is, but just play along. So we're hitting the 3rd fret on the 1st string and the 4th fret on the 2nd string. Then we do a switcheroo. That 2nd string goes from the 4th fret to the 2nd fret. I do that the first time around and then the second time around, the final time, I end kind of the same way. But instead of going on the 2nd string, instead of going from the 4th to 2nd fret, I go from the 4th to 5th fret, ending on just a normal G power chord. So now you have the notes, let's talk about the technique, the hammer on technique. So when we're going from the open string to the 2nd fret, we're not actually hitting the 2nd, we're not picking the 2nd fret on that, we're doing a hammer on. doing the exact same thing when we go from the 2nd fret to the 5th fret. That's it. There's our hammer-on technique. Now, lastly, the third step here, we're going to integrate the alternate picking. And this is where the heavy metal part comes in. Now, also, I'm palm muting these notes when I'm, when I'm doing the alternate picking here. So, and it's kind of hard to play this slow, so I'm going to do my best. I think I screwed that up just now. Let me, let me kind of back up and play it at the regular speed. So anyway, so the first part there, you're, you're, again, you're doing the hammer on from zero from the open string to the second fret. I don't know how many times I'm picking that. If you guys can count that for me and just leave that in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. I tried uh, I tried counting and I think I came in with four, five, and six. I don't know. So help me out there. And then that second hammer on piece, when you're going from two to five, 
that's just a very quick alternate pick. So let's try that again. <laughs> So that's pretty much it, you know, kind of kind of slow that down in your head. Again, this it's really hard to play this riff slow, and you know, you don't have to play it like super fast, but uh, you know, in trying to teach you the notes here, hopefully you got a good grasp on that. But more more than anything else, though, I want you to grasp the technique that we're using, or the techniques rather. I want you to grasp the hammer on. It's a very quick hammer-on that we're doing, you know, and it's not multiple hammer-ons. When people think of hammer-ons, they think of like... They think of that style of playing, but this is a little different. This is, uh, and this is used in a lot of heavy metal rhythms. So instead of doing... You're just doing it one time. And then the alternate picking part of that, when you're integrating that in, you start alternate picking almost right away after you do that hammer on. So as soon as you hit that note on the hammer on, you start alternate picking. enjoyed learning that metal guitar riff. I just realized how difficult this particular riff was to teach with the hammer on and alternate picking, but I did my best and hopefully at least you grasp the concept of implementing those techniques, the hammer ons and alternate picking in with your metal rhythms. So by now you're probably wondering, hmm, what's Jason drinking today? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today I am drinking Delirium Nocturnum. Now this is a Belgian ale, I've never had it before, so I'm trying it for the very first time with you. So let's see how this stuff tastes. That is quite the tasty ale. <laughs> Again, it's Delirium Nocturnum, it's a Belgium style ale or Belgian L, because that's where it's from. And um, it's a little on the dark side, it's more like a red L. Uh, a little heaviness in there, but it's definitely got a full bodied taste. So this is really, really good beer. And it's, uh, it is 8.5%. So a couple of these and you're sitting pretty good. Let's have another taste. Yes, I think I'll have some more. All right, that wraps it up for this week's Metal and Beer episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And two more things before you leave. Go to jasonstallworth.com slash music. There, you'll find links to iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, and all those good places where you can listen and buy my albums and releases, which is always appreciated. And secondly, I'm still giving away my free lead guitar practice guide just go sign up at jasonsmetal.com slash join and you'll get immediate access to my free lead guitar book called Licks of Fire. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's Metal and Beer episode and until next time, keep it metal. <laughs>